to Jerry Nadler, the chairman of the House a Committee that has just decided, the Judiciary Committee, to hold the Attorney General in contempt. Let's listen. Force to take today to move a contempt citation against the Attorney General of the United States. We did not relish doing this, but we have no choice. Attorney General Barr, having proved himself to be the personal attorney to President Trump rather than the Attorney General of the United States, by misleading the uh, public as to the contents of the Mueller report twice, by not being truthful with Congress, uh, has shown himself to be uh, the personal attorney of the United States rather than the Attorney General. And now he has taken a much greater step farther in turning the entire Department of Justice into an instrument of, uh, of Trump personally rather than an instrument of justice and, and a representative of the United States. Um, by seeking to evade, to bar all uh, subpoenas, and the President said it, that they will resist all subpoenas, not just with reference to the Mueller report or to the Russian attack on our democracy, but with reference to anything, to reference to the Department of Justice's uh, turnaround on their position in court on the Affordable Care Act, to references to investigations of uh, security clearances, to references to um, uh, the, the decisions to tear babies away from their mothers at the borders, to everything. They are uniformly uh, rejecting subpoenas from Congress. Uh, this means that they have decided uh, to oppose the role of Congress as a coordinate branch of government representing the American people. They are stonewalling the American people from all information. Uh, and this cannot be. We cannot have a government where all the information is in the executive branch, where the American people and the Congress are stonewalled as the information that they need to make decisions uh, and to know what's going on. So while this is stonewalling information with respect to the Russian attack on our democracy with, in 2016 with respect to the president's campaign uh, cooperation with that attack, to the president's obstructions of justice in seeking to stop the investigation of that attack. It goes far broader than that. It's an attack on the, will, on the ability of the American people to know what the executive branch is doing and to have responsible government. It is an attack on the essence of our democracy. And we must uh, oppose this with every fiber of our being. And that's why we, 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 we today did, referred a, uh, uh, a contempt citation uh, to the House floor. The House will have to vote that contempt citation uh, to, to begin the court battle. Uh, there can be no higher stakes than this attempt to to arrogate all power to the executive branch away from, the, from Congress and, more important, away from the American people. We've talked for a long time about approaching a constitutional crisis. We are now in it. We are now in a constitutional crisis. Um, Benjamin Franklin in 1787 was asked when he exited the Constitutional Convention, what type of uh, government have you given us, sir? And he said, by a woman who asked him the question, he said, a republic, man, if you can keep it. Now is the time of testing whether we can keep a republic or whether this republic is destined to uh, change into a different, more tyrannical form of government as other republics have over the, over the centuries. We must resist this. And this is far broader than republican or democratic or even the rights of Congress. This is whether we can put limits on the power of the president, any president, and then executive branch and hold the president, any president, accountable. That's what is at stake here. We cannot flinch and we will not flinch.